Welcome. This is Avital Eidenbaum from Studio 5 Innovation. I want to thank Schweiki Media for giving us this wonderful opportunity to bring you the world of social media in a language like you've never heard before, and that's to diet and exercise. And it's what we call organic social media. And you can find out more on our website at Studio 5 Innovation. But let's begin with the presentation. Some people may wonder, what is organic social media? And before we can talk about what it is, first let me cover what it's not. And what it's not is some people think that organic social media um, requires certain traffic that you get on your website. Organic social media is not about buying likes or generating false testimonies or cheating Google rankings. And while some may say, of course, that's not what organic social media is, you can see why some businesses may consider these avenues in order to get more likes and more rankings for their website. But what is organic social media? Organic social media is social media marketing the right way. But in order to understand how to use organic social media, first we have to understand what it exactly is. And first we need to get a healthy body. And then we need to understand what are the positive attributes that we're already doing. What are we doing right on our website? What are we doing right on our social platforms? And so then we can get an idea of what are our problem areas? What do we need to improve? What can we do now to take action? But one thing that we have to be clear is we need to set realistic goals for success and take action now to get a healthy social media lifestyle. So the biggest problem that we suffer from, and in the diet world it's the same thing, it's what I call the numbers disease. You know how if many women in America, no matter what we do, we always want a number on the scale to say a different number. And what I see is the same problem in social media. We are so obsessed with our number of likes on our Facebook page, the number of followers that we have on our Twitter feed, that when that becomes our ultimate focus, it's easy to lose track of what our real goals are and how to achieve a healthy, organic social media body. So what is an organic social media body? Well, first, it's a healthy brain, and that's the website. Healthy Heart are your social platforms. Are you on one social platform? Are you on all of them? Whichever social platforms you choose to participate in, you want to be sure they're optimized and integrated with your website and with each other. And then what kind of engagement are you including in your social platforms? What are you posting on your Facebook page? What are the blog posts on your website? Are they integrated with each other? But you always want to be sure that even when you achieve a healthy social media body, you want to be engaging in healthy activity and quality content. Those two are the biggest factors in getting an organic social media body. But first, let's talk about what a healthy website is. And there's many things that you can have on the home page of your website that can affect, is it a healthy website? Having a blog is the most important thing because it helps rank with SEO. Do you have a contact page? You would be surprised how many home page websites don't have a contact page. You want people to get in touch with you. So a healthy website includes a contact page. Is it responsive? One thing we learned from 2012 is that more and more users are using their mobile devices to shop online, to check their email, and to uh, communicate in various ways. And a responsive website is very necessary in these days to, um, to cater to um, an audience that uses their mobile device. Social links. You're on Facebook and Google Plus and Twitter, but do you have those links on the homepage of your website to encourage your readers to interact with you on them? And a call to action. Do you have a newsletter? Do you have something that's going to keep your reader on your site to take action to do business with you or maybe to find out more about you or to sign up your newsletter? These are some things that help make a healthy website. But that's only part of it. 
Now, if you want a social media six-pack, you're going to want to optimize and integrate each one of these social platforms. Facebook, Google+, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, and YouTube. Now, that's a daunting task, and maybe a social media six-pack isn't your goal right now. But let's just work on Facebook to give you an idea of some of the things you can do in order to optimize your social media presence. So with your Facebook page, you want to be sure to have a clear cover photo that relates to your brand and represents your company well. You'd be surprised how many people miss this opportunity with their readers. Now call to action. Do you have a newsletter? Do you have a report that people can download? in order to take action when they're on the page beyond just clicking the like button. And your links to your profiles. Are you on other social platforms? You'd be surprised with Facebook applications how easy it is to add other social platforms, but yet businesses fail to take this key opportunity with their readers. And activity and content. There's various forms of activity and healthy content that you can engage in with your audience. A blog, for example, are you posting one blog a week, one blog a month? Quality over quantity is key, but there's various forms of activity that you can be doing in order to increase your engagement. A newsletter, do you have a monthly newsletter? Do you have a weekly news newsletter? Do your fans know when they're going to hear from you? And your social posts, are you posting every day? Are you posting weekly? Posting really depends on what your audience can handle. Some may only want one post a week, and that's it. But depending on your goals and what your audience can handle, activity and content are key essential ingredients in organic social media presence. So an organic social media body, there's three meals a day. Just like we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, there's three key meals in your organic social media body is to educate your audience, empower them, or entertain. Those are the three things they're looking for that's going to get them to like, comment, share, and most importantly, to keep coming back. But just like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, we need to be a little bit more specific about what kinds of content we can be putting in our engagement. So these are what I consider healthy portions. And just as there's a right way and a wrong way to eat, there's a right way and a wrong way to post in your social media presence. The first thing that draws your fans is relevant. What are you posting? Is it relevant to your business? Is it something they would expect to hear from you? Getting recipes from a real estate agent isn't very relevant, but what kind of value does it offer your readers? And that's the second part of a healthy portion. The third is a call to action. You're giving them great content, but what are they supposed to do with it? Ultimately, you want it to lead to traffic and conversions to go up to your website, so maybe they'll make a purchase, maybe they'll show your information from a friend, but they need to have call to action in order to do something with that post. And attention grabbing. We're in such a busy society, we don't have time to even look beyond two words post. And more and more our fans are having less time to pay attention to anything that we're putting out. So we have to be sure it draws their attention in a very concise, consistent manner that's relevant to our brand. Now this is a lot of information, so let's do a quick social media recap. First, you want to get a healthy website. That's the brain of your website. And that's where you want eventually to send all traffic to, whether it's from your blood or your heart, everything's going back to your website. You want to have healthy social platforms. Maybe you can't get a social media six-pack right now, but which platforms can you handle? Many people want to just stick with the Facebook page before venturing off into other platforms like Twitter or Google+. And healthy blood, your engagement. Do you have a newsletter? Are you building your list? What kinds of blog posts are you sending out? Do you have a schedule to send out? What is your activity? Are you just winging it and taking it day by day, or do you really have a set schedule? And quality content. What kind of content are you posting in your social platforms? Are you just retweeting and reposting what everyone else is saying, or are you trying to come up with something original that's key to what your readers want to hear from you? So once you evaluate your fitness test, the next steps for a 
maintaining an organic social media body is for us to get a healthy body. Were there some areas that you need to improve on? Or are you pretty good where you are right now? If not, consider detox or boot camp. First, optimizing your social platform. Even if you're not going to be active on Google+, set up a Google Plus page. So if one of your fans is using Google Plus and finds you there, they can get in contact with you. Set realistic goals. We all want to be an Olympic athlete and look like a supermodel in comparison to our social media presence. But can we realistically achieve it if we're not spending hours a day on it? If you only have one hour a day or even 15 minutes a day, what can you realistically accomplish? Baby steps are fine. And whatever it is that you decide to do, you want to stick with it. And get support if you need it. Do you need to have a social media strategist look at your presence to help you save time and focus on platforms where your fans are? Thank you so much for the presentation. And um, any questions and answers, uh, we can take it now. The biggest question I get people to ask me is, is Facebook still worth um, the time for businesses? And many people will argue because uh, Facebook page reach has dropped drastically. And Facebook, uh, people don't feel they're giving the love to businesses as they should. But I've heard some great information that a Facebook page is still a great source of engagement. Many fans these days, the first place they look is a Facebook page if they're wanting to find more about a business. But Google Plus with Google Hangouts, they're a rising social platform. And I would strongly recommend Google Plus too. Um, thank you so much for the presentation. And I want to thank Swiking Media again for the opportunity to present organic social media. Is that it? Was that okay?